Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Another stone beer that they sent me. This is the 2014 edition of their Lucky Bastard Ale. Bottled on... I don't know if you can see this on camera. Shit, I just lost it. Oh, there it is. It was bottled on October 3rd, I think it says. And they make a point of saying, you know, drink me now. Uh, drink by January 1st. 2015. So it's a blend, if you're not familiar with this one, it's a blend of regular Arrogant Bastard, Double Bastard, and the Oaked Bastard, which I like the best out of them all. I had the 2013 edition, um, I don't know, 2013, um, actually it was probably what, 2010 edition? Because it was, the original was a 13 year anniversary, and this one is the 17 year anniversary. If you look on the back of the bottle, everything's all spelled. They spelled everything wrong on purpose. I don't remember what year this is. Anyway, so it's the 2014 edition. Let's get into it. Had a I love that. That's a beautiful, beautiful red. Uh, kind of a, actually kind of the color of my shirt, like a maroon garnet type, maybe blood color. You know, it's it is clear. Um, did have about a two two finger head on there. Nice kind of froth on it. Aroma. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's all Chinook hops. Um, Stone keeps the the hop mill, uh, and all, they keep the whole recipe secret for this beer, but everybody seems to have reverse engineered it and says that the hop, at least a prominent hop in this one is Chinook, because it's a very kind of piney, piney resiny hop, but it also has like this like really astringent character to it. Um, so let's see how the lucky, lucky bastard is cheers definite um i mean if you look up the american strong ale <coughs> category in bjcp like uh actually if you saw the video it was it was a while ago i think it was like a year and a half ago where greg cook was doing all these vlogger response videos and he did one to me when i reviewed regular eric and bastard in like 2009 and i said it's is it an ipa is it an amber ale He's like, no, it's American Strong Ale. In fact, we pretty much invented the style with Arrogant Bastard. I agree with that. I mean, it's super, I mean, it's definitely as hoppy as you would expect in like an IPA or double IPA. But like the whole malt character is like way too like dark. And it's like a complete different kind of taste than you would get in an IPA. I'm trying to think how to describe that malt character there. It's um very, very kind of like toasted maybe kind of caramelly. It's um, much sweeter than your average IPA. I mean, it's really, I mean, I always kind of consider this beer and beers like this just basically imperial amber ales or red ales. I mean, that, that definitely is red. It's a beautiful color. That's probably like my favorite color for a beer. Well, some IPAs and like that, that certain kind of orange hue, those are beautiful too. Hops from front to back on this, and I definitely get like a vanilla character. Maybe it's the kind of like woody wood character like because they're of the the oak oak version is aged i believe is on it's not aged on chips or maybe on spirals it's not barrel aged so it just like gives it like that pure kind of wood vanilla slight kind of earthy character it's not like the super intense uh like like licking a pine tree kind of character you tend to get in a lot of bourbon barrel beers Mm, yeah, it's bitter, but it's not like ridiculous. It's not absurd. Um, I gotta say, I'm liking this a lot more than I had than I did last time. I was expecting to like not really like this that much, but it's actually really good. Uh, we're gonna take a little break. Word from our sponsor, and I'll come back with my final thoughts. Unlucky hey craft beer drinkers, have we got a book for you. The Handbook of Porters and Stouts. This book documents the greatest examples of dark beer available on the market today. From old world traditional brews to American craft breweries pushing the boundaries of what dark beer can be. You'll learn about the origins of the styles as well as the brewers behind the beer. Available in bookstores November 11th or pre-order from Amazon at a discounted rate today. Come to the dark side with the Handbook of Porters and Stouts by Josh Christie and Chad Polenz. All right, let's rate this beer. Um, for aroma, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I mean, it's, uh, it has plenty of uh, hop character in there, although that's pretty much all it is, just kind of like this like piney resin 
uh, character. Well, I mean, some malt in there too, but yeah, it smells good. It doesn't smell absolutely amazing, but it smells really good. Appearance, you yeah, know, I'm gonna go the full five out of five. I'd probably give it a five out of five just on that red color alone. I mean, it looks like Rodenbach, and then and you can see the lacing on there. It's more of like a soapy kind of, you know, texture instead of frothy, but still plenty uh plenty of lacing just looks beautiful i love it taste i'm gonna go eight out of ten i mean it's it's an unbalanced beer it's supposed to be although i do dig those kind of vanilla there's a little bit of toffee a little bit of caramel in there uh i saw people on rapier said they were getting like plum kind of character or cherry mm, i don't really get it i mean i think the hops really really dominate on here and when it's fresh, I think it's just so much better fresh. There's really no reason to age this. Age the double bastard. Don't don't age the lucky bastard. Yeah, so 8 out of 10 on taste. Palette, I'm going to go 5 out of 5 again. I mean, it's 8.5 ABV. I really don't get any alcohol warmth or burn or anything. The mouthfeel is perfectly fine. It's actually a lot, like, I mean a lot, but a little bit thinner than you'd usually associate with a uh, you know a beer of this style you know 8.5 it's not I saw I really don't get like any kind of sticky residual aftertaste there's definitely a dry aftertaste but it's it's easily tolerable so overall I'm gonna give it a 16 out of 20 which gives it a 4.2 overall which is a 9 out of 10 on my scale and I would agree with that it's a, it's a excellent beer so there you go stone lucky bastard 2014 edition I guess they do this every two years. I think they did it in 2010, 2012, and 2014. When I looked up on Untapped, I had it January of 2013, so I must have had the 2012 edition. And I actually did like it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 on Untapped, so I must be thinking of something else. I don't know what it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to check out my book, The Handbook of Porters and Stouts. There might even be a stone or beer in there, too. And I will see you next time. Cheers.